Hi, I'm Cheryl Jones with News OK, and I'm here today with our Made in Oklahoma segment at one of Oklahoma's, well, the Oklahoma premier wine instruction facility. People come here to learn how to grow grapes and make wine in Oklahoma. And I'm here with Andrew Snyder, who is the professor of enology and uh, wine growing, grape growing. <laughs> Viticulture, yes. Viticulture, yes. yes. Right here at Chapel Creek Winery and Redlands Community College. Uh, our history actually goes back all the way to 1869. Wow. And that was uh, under President Grant's peace initiative, the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes were relocated uh, here. Um, the first Indian agent was named Brenton Darlington. He was a Quaker and uh, he came out. Uh, he served for a couple of years. He passed away and uh, it's been an Indian agency. It's been a drug rehabilitation center for the state of Oklahoma. Uh, it's been a game farm. It's also been been a sign shop for the state of Oklahoma and now Redlands has the property where we have a, a two-year associate's degree in viticulture which is growing grapes and enology which is making wine so we have a state-of-the-art winery that you're uh, standing in right now uh, we've got a nice barrel program Missouri white oak where we uh, age uh, our reds in, in nice oak uh, uh, barrels and uh, stainless steel tanks lab equipment everything a student needs from crushing a grape and bringing it in the winery to actually putting a label on it and then actually a winery marketing class and a tasting room sales class to actually sell the products as well. This program is designed for working adults so all the classes are conducted on weekends so most of the students that enter our program are about my age they're looking to take either some of their land and convert it into a uh, vineyard or put in a winery you know we have about 60 uh, licensed wineries in the state wow. and about half of those have come through our program and those half are making some really quality wines. One of the things that totally can catches your eye when you drive up to this facility is the old chapel that I understand was built in 1913, <clears throat> which means it's coming up on its centennial. It is. It was so built, tell us a little about it. built by the Order of the Eastern Star, which is the female component to the Masons. The Masons bought the property in 1910, and from 1910 till 1922, they housed a Masonic home here where orphans and widows and widowers of Masons were housed. You know, the chapel had uh, gone downhill just a little bit. Redlands Community College received a grant for about a quarter of a million dollars, so they put $250,000 into the exterior of the uh, project. Brand new paint job, brand new roof, new windows, new doors. So it's airtight and we're actively seeking grant funds to renovate the interior. We'd love to celebrate the interior, uh, the birthday, the 100th birthday of the chapel from inside the chapel. It's a signature piece and obviously we named the winery Chapel Creek Winery after that uh, beautiful chapel um, but we've got a state-of-the-art vineyard in front of the chapel. We've got uh, goat cheese, we have a goat dairy, we make artisan goat cheese. I mean there's a lot going on out here. Uh, you know we're doing that history lecture uh, where we're actually going to present from 1869 all the way until 1922 the entire history of this location. A wine, cheese, and turn-of-the-century Dutch oven bread and a lot of exciting wow. things going on here. Well, thank you, Andrew, and we're looking forward to seeing a little more of, of the winery and becoming better acquainted with some of the wines that you make here. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you.